In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make stuff bounce in Premiere. To begin, I just added a background video along with a graphic that I like to make bounce to my timeline. Let's begin by going over to the effects panel and typing transform into the search box. Drag the effect onto your image or text. Now you can animate without the transform effect, but if you want motion blur, it's a requirement. Next, let's head up to Effect Controls and scroll down to the Transform effect we just added. In here, we're going to be adding a bunch of keyframes for the position property. My sequence is at 30 frames per second, so keep in mind that if your sequence is at 60 FPS, you're going to want to double all my spacings between the keyframes to match the speed of my animation. You also should make note of a Y value that you want your graphic to bounce off of during the animation. I'm just going to use a center default, which is 540. Alright, let's begin. Move the time head to where you want to start the bouncing animation. Increase the position's Y value until you can't see your graphic. Click the stopwatch toggle next to position to create a starting keyframe. Press the right arrow key 9 times move the time head 9 frames to the right. If you're working with 60 FPS footage, move it 18 frames here. Change the Y value to where you want the animation to bounce off of to create the second keyframe. In my case, it'll be 540. Now we just want the animation to rest here for a frame. Press the right arrow key once to move the time head one frame to the right. Click the circle between the two arrows to create a keyframe for the current position. Press the right arrow key 13 times to move the time head 13 frames to the right. Okay, so the Y value here should be our bouncing off points value plus half of the bouncing off points value. So if you're following along, enter 810. This will put our graphic at half the distance between the starting point and the bouncing off point. Press the right arrow key to move the time head forward one frame. Then click the circle between the two arrows to create a keyframe for the current position. Press the right arrow key 12 more times to move the time head forward another 12 frames. Change the position's value to your bouncing off points value to create another keyframe. Again, if you just want it centered like mine, that'll be 540. Press the right arrow key 5 times to move the time head forward another 5 frames. Here, enter the value for the bouncing off points value plus 1 eighth of the bouncing off points value. So if you're following my example, enter 608. Press the right arrow key once to move the time head forward one frame. Click the circle between the arrows to create a keyframe for the current position. Press the right arrow key 7 more times and change the position back to the bouncing off points value, which is 540 for this example. Press the right arrow key 3 times to move the time head forward 3 frames. Change the value to the bouncing off points value plus 15, so for me that'd be 555. Press the right arrow key two more times and change the position back to 540. Okay, now we have the basic layout for our animation, but it looks kind of stiff where the graphic bounces off the bottom. To fix this, drag to select the fourth and fifth keyframes. Right click one of them and go to Temporal Interpolation, Continuous Bezier. And I'm going to do the same thing with the 7th and 8th keyframes where it bounces off the bottom again. Okay, this looks really good. For our final touch, let's add motion blur to the effect by unchecking Use Composition Shutter Angle and changing the shutter angle to 200. And there we have a smooth looking bounce effect. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.